Welcome to Inside Out Boys with your host, Cody Bass. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Big hello to all you new subscribers. Thanks for joining us here. We're going to have some outboard fun. But first, I want to give a big apology. In my last video, I might have seemed a little on the negative side. Well, I want to apologize for kind of losing track of what this channel is supposed to be. I kind of went on a little whine about, you know, the guy brings this little 15 horsepower Yamaha in here and he said he broke off the drain screw on the carb and then he said that it had been submerged and he shot some stuff and, uh, but you know, he didn't mention anything about a pound and a half of Marine Tex holding the thing together. And the one I had before that, if you remember, a 25 Evinrude, was even worse than this one. So my last two videos, these guys, oh yeah, you know, uh, maybe you can do a little tune-up on it. Um, so I kind of lost track of what this channel is supposed to be. And this channel is not, can I get on the inner screen and order every new part that cost half as much of the as the engine does and start swapping them parts and uh, turning a $500 motor into a $1,500 motor. So I want to apologize for that. This is supposed to be a repair gig, not a uh, fix it gig. Now, if they want to spend the money, um, I'm happy to fix them. I'm happy to order them brand new aluminum parts and put them on there at high cha-ching and hand them a bill. But uh, that's not really what the YouTube portion of this, this, this whole gig is. It's about showing people how to repair things on the cheap um, to keep their especially older vintage motors going without having Halfing? Is that a word? Halfing? Without having to uh, send big uh, credit card payments to these parts folks. So, I have regrouped. I went out and I had a session with Fret. Fret has calmed me down. I'm good to go. Let's get at it. Okay, here's the aluminum part that's broke off of that intake. I'm going to grind this piece off. It goes like that so that the recoil starter can screw in here. So, here's what I'm going to do. Take the side of my grinder and get rid of that piece. So now it's flat. I want it to be flat here because I'm going to drill a hole through here. Okay, you can see here is where the broken this part, you see this? That's what's broke, and they've got this old gookum pucky uh, marine tex. So I'm gonna chisel that as much of that off as I can. It don't have to be perfect, but I'll show you what I'm going for anyway. Okay. That's looking a little better. Look. Okay. 
Okay. I just want it to be kind of flat there. There we go. That's good. Okay, what we're going for here, see if I can zoom you in a little bit. Get you over here. I don't think you can see it. Okay, there's, here's the broken piece. It goes in here. Like so. And they had the gookum pucky all over everything. Well, there was a little ridge on here. That's the ridge I ground off. Because I need it to be flat. Because where I'm going with this is I made this little piece of metal here. This is flat under here. It's nice and smooth and flat. So I can drill down through that. So I'll drill and put a bolt with a nylock there. Then I'll come in here with this piece and drill and put another bolt. I'll drill a hole through this and put another bolt and nylock. I may, I'll probably use a little bit better piece of metal. But you can get the idea there. Everything will be bolted back together. And that will be a lot better than gookum pucky that wasn't sticking anyway. I'll be back. Diablo. So I got my little bracket, I got my little bracket right there, I put a bolt through it, drilled a hole, put a nylock on there. So I got a nylock with a bolt going through the aluminum part. I don't know if this thing's focusing right. Um, anyway, there's my little metal bracket I made, right here this part. And then I fit it to go in there. Drilled a hole through all that, bolt my nylock. Now I'm coming over here, put it right where it's supposed to go. I knocked all this goo they had, this 
marine techs put it right there where it's supposed to be so the crack meets up take my little sharpie and I got me a mark then I'll take and drill a hole there I'll probably have to get one of my longer bits so I can come right down I'll drill a hole there and we'll see if we can get this to bolt up I'll be back that should be big enough Let me see if I can flick most of that aluminum stuff into the paint. Oh, yeah. There's a hole. Like I said, it's nice and flat under here. So, now I gotta find a bolt and a nylock. I'll be back. Well, now, do you like them fish and chips, boys and girls? I do. You see, my friend Charlie, he has a friend Dave, who has a big, brand new, brand new, spanking boat. And Dave went out, and he catches the fish. He got some halibuts, some king salmon, and some cod. And he was kind enough to give me a few of them. Ain't that a pretty cod? Whoa! <laughs> That's a nice cod. Oh! Fish and chips. Yummy! Well now, aren't them some beautiful fillets? Nice Pacific cod. I have to make me up some good old fish and chips. Yummy. Okay, so I've got my bolt. I'm gonna make sure you're in there. I got me a hole drill. I'm gonna come up from under the bottom now and put this bolt that's going to be the hard part oh that wasn't too bad then i got my other piece okay keep some pressure there while i get my nylock get my finger back under that where that bolt is there we go now I get my nylock this might be a little tricky too there ain't much room ain't much room in there okay there we go. So you get an idea here? You get an idea? Now I'm going to have to stick a screwdriver or something in there. I'll be right back for tidy. Then just see if I can get it to take up on this guy. Boy, look at that. Boy, look at that. There she be. A little bit of rust in my socket. It's a old rusty socket. But see how good the crack is? I got it snugged up. I got two big giant bolts there. And that is nice. So. Now, let me... So now, 
we got a place to mount our dealy thing, our recoil. Look at there. And that's a nice repair. Them big old bolts. I don't know if you can see them. Big nylots. That's not coming off. That is hard mounted. I am satisfied with that as a repair. It is not new. Um, this is a repaired piece. But we're not done. No, no. No, no. And you say, and you say, but you got it on there. No, we don't. No, we don't. Because they more they use more goop. Remember this? Well, we can definitely do better than that with some nuts, bolts, metal, piece of nice metal in there, a few nuts and bolts, but first I gotta get all this contraptionis off. So I'll be back. Okay, what I did was took one of these, it was a bigger one, like the next size or two up. I cut it right there, and I ended up with that. I took it over to the flywheel, and you can see I used the flywheel to make my curve. Bang, 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 till I got my curve that I want, which will go in there. i show you. Okay. Now, here's the brake. Right there. I've got my curve. That'll go there. Then nuts and bolts. And I will show you before I put it on. I checked. I lightly bolted this on there first, laid it on here and made sure I had plenty of room in between this and the flywheel. There's almost about a half an inch there. So plenty of room. So let me get it set up. I'll be back. Okay, I put my air silencer back on and my choke hooked up. Okay, so there's the repair we did on this bracket. That is really nice and tough. Here's what I did here. I put three bolts, three nuts, and you can see I could come right through here and I still got room to put my 10 millimeters. So there's the crack that they had gookum puckied, and now that's as solid as can be. That's a really good solid repair. And I made sure it don't hit nothing on the flywheel. And so now we just Put these three 10 millimeters. The meters. We put the 10 millimeters in. Make sure I'm with you. Yeah, okay. repaired recoil um, a repaired recoil bracket there so let me get you over here I got to turn on the noisy sucker because it's raining outside and uh, I don't want to die of the fumes Yeah. I keep forgetting to do that. So let me do it right now. It'll only take a second.
see him? You see now he's looking down. You see he looks at me. Now, if you wonder, there was a bunch of them in here. And if you wonder what he's eating, well, it's not just him. It's a bunch of them. And he's wondering where all his buddies went. They'll come back. But there he is. And if you want to know what he's eating, I'll try and get a shot. See it? Where'd it go? There it is. Can you see that? Sorry. There you go. Let me zoom on in. That's a seal. It looks to be missing some of its cranium parts. Well, I guess it's a seal. It could, uh, yeah, I think it's a seal. I was saying it could be a young sea lion. But there it is. You can see they've been, the eagle's been eating at the head. Not a very big one, just a little guy. But they were flying all around here. And I was wondering what in the world they're eating on. And there it is. They're eating a dead, some kind of seal. A harbor seal, maybe? I don't know. But, how did it die? Who knows? So, um, I went out and talked to my outboard spirit, spirit, and uh, got back in the proper channel mode, and we got this little yammy, I would say, repaired. Uh, the repairs are sound, they are strong, we did it on the inexpensive side for this fella and I think this little motor will at least make one more trip with him. Um, he is brutal but understanding what he does with these motors um, um, he is a Alaska brown bear guide and when you have a client from Dubai or from Texas or from Europe um, and they fly halfway around the world to get their trophy bear um, I understand what I see on these motors sometimes so this one is good to go it runs it shifts it pees um, and the repairs that we got done to it, I think, will hold up for a little while. So, uh, this one's getting a little long. And so, as always, that is one more hack from Kodiak. Thanks for watching. More vids are coming on Inside Out Woods with your host, Cody Bass.